the Leader of the Opposition. My question is to the Prime Minister. The member for Dunkley has said that environmental grants were approved. The Minister of the Environment says that the grants were not approved. Prime Minister, your minister is saying one thing, the member for Dunkley is saying another. Who do you believe? The Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I believe both members are passionate <laughs> about the environment. I believe they're both members passionate on about my left. the environment, Mr Speaker. I think the members on this side of the House want to do the right thing about the environment, Mr Speaker. And I'll tell you another thing about when it comes to the environment. We don't believe that you have to choose between having a clean environment and a strong economy. We don't believe you have to do that, Mr Speaker. We believe you can have responsible emissions reduction targets, meet your commitments that you've made internationally, Mr Speaker, and have a strong economy. We believe both of those could be achieved, but you know, Mr Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition doesn't. Because the Leader of the Opposition wants to put in place a wrecking ball on the Australian economy to uh, implement a 45 per cent emissions reduction target which will put up the price on everything. He wants to tell Australians what sort of car they have to drive and what they have to put in their kids' lunchbox, Mr Speaker. So far does this Leader of the Opposition want to intrude into the lives of all Australians. He wants to put up their taxes. doesn't matter if they're a retiree or just someone out there working hard, Mr Speaker. He wants to put more taxes and more burdens on the Australian people. On this side of the House, we have a plan a clear plan to continue to deliver the economic strength that we have delivered over the last five and a half years. And we have a clear plan to meet the commitments we've made on reducing emissions in a way that continues to see our economy grow and our environmental standards maintained. Mr Speaker, our plan is there for all to see, and our commitments on emissions reductions have been demonstrated in turning around a more than 700 million tonne deficit to our Kyoto 2020 commitments that was left to us by the previous government, and we have turned that into a 369 million tonne overachievement. So on this side of the House, we are delivering on our commitments to the environment in this budget itself. Not only the program that has been referred to, which ensures every single part of this country can benefit from the local environmental programs and grants that will support them in the local communities, but a further $100 million environment fund that will support larger projects in regional areas as well in the metropolitan areas. Now, that's what we're doing, Mr Speaker. What the Labor Party is going to do with their emissions reduction reckless target, Mr Speaker, it's going to cost Australian wages some $9,000 per person, Mr Speaker. That is the price. And I challenge the Leader of the Opposition tonight to come clean on the real cost to the economy of his reckless emission target tonight. The member for North Sydney. 